I'm live. Amazing. Um, right. Oh gosh, there is quite a lot of brightness going on there. Um, hello, everybody. Um, I'm Miss Rebecca. My on YouTube, I'm using um, my laptop. So just a bit of an explanation. My laptop is quite old, so the quality isn't great. Um, so if you wanted to go our Instagram page, the quality might be slightly better and you might be able to see something slightly better. Um, so go over to Miss G's dot at home dance, I think. Let me just double check. Oh, dot dance at home. Yes. Um, and then you might be able to see slightly better quality. And we won't be sitting around sort of five or six minutes. So you've got a bit of time to go over if you wanted to. We've got two people watching so far, which is great. Oh, just see if we want out oh, how. Can you see me over here? I'm going to move a tiny little bit this way. There we go. I'm bringing it down. Tiny bit as well. It is quite over. It's You should be able to see everything from there. Okay, so YouTube is up and running. What a great start. Let me get. We are now live on both platforms. Yay, no disasters yet. Um, hello, everybody. Right, let me just make sure you're all set up so you can see everything. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay, so you've got about five minutes until the class starts. Oh my gosh, all these people coming and joining us. Hello, hello. Hi, Esme, hi, Alexa. Oh my goodness me. This is crazy, all from my little living room. Um, okay, great, so everyone just warm up as quickly as you can. We've got about four or five minutes, so take your time. We won't start until 11 o'clock. Um, so can you all hear me okay? That was the other thing. Just reply in the comments if you can hear me. Um, I will be stood over here for the class, so you should be able to see everything. Maybe not my whole head, but that's okay. You can see my toes, which is great. Oh my goodness, me, this is scary. Um, yes, thank you, Alexa. That's great. Good, you can hear me. That's a relief. Um, oh my goodness, this is so exciting. I feel like a YouTuber or something. Um, okay, let me see myself. So, ooh, ooh, let me sit here yeah, and let me see my face. It's very sunny outside. Um, so, if you're kind of like glowing, that would probably be why. Oh my god, I can't believe all these people are joining. Hello, hello. Hi! Oh, MSG has joined. Fantastic. Um, okay, great. Oh, and all the love hearts. Sorry, this is all brand new to me. I've never done anything like this before. I'm a bit technologically challenged. So um, the fact that it's running up and running on time is a, a blessing, a relief. Let's say that. So today we're going to do an advanced ballet class. Now, I know for some of you, you might not have done so much ballet, so there will be steps that we'll be doing that you've not done before. That is absolutely fine. I will be showing some sort of simplifications and modifications of certain steps, um, so we can always sort of alter the exercise to fit you and to fit what ballet you have done. Again, this is a great opportunity for you guys to try stuff you've never done before. Um, and also, I can't see you. So if you fall over, I won't know about it until you tell me. So, yeah, give it all a go if it's all terrifying and you're all like, oh my gosh, you're going too far, should I make any sense? Please slow down. Write in the comments, please, especially on Instagram. YouTube, sorry, I can't see your comments, so I'm just fingers crossed that you can all see me, okay, and you can hear me, and it's all fine. Um, another thing we are doing today in our class, we're doing a little quiz. So, those of you that attend Miss G's um, regularly um, will know that we just announced the houses. So, we've had Bustle, Joffrey, Palloonin and Copeland. So, named after four fantastic ballet dancers. Um, so, today's class, all of the music that we are using um, will either be a pop song, a Disney song, a song from a well known musical. Yeah, one of those three. <laughs> so, I'd really love it if you could quickly run and get pen and paper um, and write down what you think the song is at the end of each exercise. Okay? Um, then submit them through to Miss G, and the person that gets the most correct will get some house points. Those of you who don't come along to Miss G's um, weekly class and are just joining us for this class, hello, thank you so much for joining us. Um, but also, uh, if you get them all correct, 
here's an elbow pump, yeah? That's all I can do at the moment. I can't really send any prices in the post, unfortunately. But please do get involved. So you've got about one minute to go get your pen and paper, do a quick warm up, get those toes moving. It is quite sunny and warm today, um, but I do really don't want any injuries. So let's get as warm as we can. Oh, amazing. All these people joining us. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, Miss Shannon has joined waving. Hello. Oh, fantastic. All these people. Hi, hi, hi. Got a delicious sit here all day. Look at who's joined us. All these love hearts. Again, please write and comment. Um, if anything I'm saying doesn't make any sense or I'm using different terminology than you'd normally use, please, please comment. I will try and remember to come and check in back down here with you um, as much as I can. Um, but yeah, amazing, 13 people, oh my God, this is huge. Hello everyone, all these love hearts, crazy. Okay, so let me just jump up and test it up. Okay, so I will be stood here. This is going to be my bar. Um, crazily enough, in my flat, this is the only chair we have. So um, we're quite lucky to have it. Um, so I'm using this as my bar. Anyone that hasn't done any ballet before, all you'll need to do this class are clothes you can easily move around in. Socks are absolutely fine. Just be careful you don't slip. Um, and something you can hold on to for the bar section of the class. And bar is we're just going to warm up our body, get our bodies moving. Um, and kind of go from there. Right, I think we should get started. So, oh, God, all these people are doing, hello, Isabel, hi, Charlie, and Ella, and Rebecca. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so we're going to start with a plie exercise, and we're going to start with our legs in first position, so let's turn out from the top of the legs. In ballet, we're obviously turning out from the top of the legs. I want to see your knees are going to track over your second toe, it's your second toe, and to turn out, we're going to engage our glutes and our inside thighs. Now, the way to remember this, I want you to think of having either one of two things, depending which one you prefer. So, you can either think of having the winning Euro Millions lottery ticket between your thighs, or an all expenses paid trip to Disneyland between your thighs. So, it's a very expensive ticket. You want to be holding it there the whole time. Yeah, so that will secure the turn up from the top of the leg so that then we have our knees tracking over our toes when we plie, we're turning up, we're not putting any strain on any of our joints, yeah? And we're making sure that our tailbone, our pelvis is in the correct position. Great, so plie, so we're going to do and a plie, stretch, double demi, stretch, full plie. So we do a plie, heels on the ground, going all the way down to the floor, coming back into our demi plie, and stretch. We do a forward quarter bra in parallel. We're going to put both hands on the floor, and we're just going to shake out a little bit. Get all that tension out, shake the head back and forth. Rolling back one foot for a time, roll the shoulders, come back into our first position, and each will turn you to second. We do the same in second. Let's demi plie, stretch, double demi, stretch, Full plie, those heels are gonna stay pushing into the ground in a second, no bottom sticking out, I don't see any sumo wrestlers, please. And demi, stretch, we're gonna do a sideways quarter bra, lifting up and over. We're then gonna plie on our supporting leg, lift the toe of our second leg, and we're gonna shake that tension, really warming up that hip. Come back to second, little rise if we've got time. Balance, amazing, and come round into fourth. Fourth should be opposite your fifth position. We do a demi plie, stretch, double demi, stretch, full plie, making sure those hips are still tracking forward. Don't fall over like I just did. Show me your beautiful demi plie, stretch, side reach forward right into the center of the room. Very good. Looking over, having that gap between your elbow and your head. Come through. We're going to balance the beautiful arabesque, looking on our second finger, down, coming back to fifth. And a demi, a stretch. And a double dip, stretch, full plie, six, seven, eight, circular pour de bra. Okay, so everyone is fine at the moment, fantastic. So, um, circular pour de bra. The same with our forward pour de bra, we want to make sure that our hands are initiating the movement. Bear with me here. So, we look at our hand as we go forward, yes? We're keeping the weight forward over, the toe, over our toes, and we see anyone pushing back. Like this. 
forward. Very good. So our hands and our head reach the bottom at the same time. Your hand then initiates the movement to the side. So it comes over to the side. We come back to our beautiful posture. Pelvis underneath us. Our hand then initiates the movement going around the back. We're still following our hand with our eyes, coming all the way around. And back up again. Bottom two, we're holding onto the bar. Yes? Does that make sense to everybody? Is anyone going, what on earth is she talking about? No, no huge problem so far. Fantastic. Right, with a circular port of bra, I want you to imagine that you are in an ice cream cone. Yeah? Bear with me here, okay? So your hand that's initiating this movement, going all the way around. This hand wants to touch every single part of the ice cream cone that is going around your body. Yes? So we go forward, our head and our hand join at the same time, our hand initiates to the side, and then you touch every corner of the ice cream cone to come all the way around. Yes? We're at this point, we rise up, we balance, we grow taller, we pull our tummy buttons in, we squeeze up into the side, we grow taller, we grow taller, we don't fall over, and then we come down again. Yeah? Everyone okay up till now? Yes, we think so. Good, thanks. Great, Alexa. Thank you for the feedback. All good from Jan. Amazing. Hello, Leone. Welcome. So, quick recap. First position. Demi. Double demi. Full plie. Forward, forward, up. Shake, shimmy, shimmy. All the way up. And up. Second. Same as second. Double demi. Full plie. Side reach, forward, bra. Making sure we find one sporty leg. Let's roll out that hip. Lovely, jubbly. Coming up, round to four. Demi, double demi. Full plie. Side reach, forward, bra. Lovely buns, mirror best. Come back to fifth. Demi, double demi. Full plie. Then we do our circular pour de bra all the way around. Balancing up in fifth. Stay there forever before we go to the second side. Yes. Kitty, thumbs up. Fantastic. Alexa is all good, great. Okay, so those who didn't join me at the beginning, we are doing a music quiz in this class. So I need you to keep an ear out for what you think the song is for each exercise. There will be either a Disney song, a musical song, or a pop song, yeah? So one of those three options, yes? So write them down, those of you who attend with G's, um, Submit your list of the track listings, who, what you think they are, and then the person who gets the most will win house points for their house. Great. So this one, I will give you a clue for the first one. The artist you will know very well, and she um, had a fantastic Bond hit thing. She wrote a Bond song, basically. Um, okay. Yes, Molly, this is an advanced class. We're chatting a lot to begin with, but it will get harder. Don't worry, we are going to do some modifications when we do get to the harder steps. So please bear with us. We're very excited. Okay, let's go. Oh my goodness, so much talking to begin with. Okay, first positions. Great Tony, here we go. Demi, please. Stretch. Double Demi. Stretch, grow taller, full plie, all the way down, coming up, and stretch, forward, 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 parallel, here we go, go forward, touch the floor, shake up those hips, shake up the tension, growing up, stacking taller, turning out, 20 second, same second, demi, stretch, double demi, Stretch, full plie, demi, all the way down, heels on the ground, no seeing our bottoms out, please. Thank you, side of the border bra, join a rainbow over the ceiling. Find your supporting leg, shake out the tension of that hip, make sure we're looking down at the bar, we still have that gap between our head and the earth. Rise, round and forth, demi, stretch, double demi, Stretch, full plie, hips still facing the front. No hula hulas. Demi. Stretch sideways, pull right into the middle of the room. And across. Amazing, great work, everyone. Rise and balance, narrow best, we on the second finger. 
hips and shoulders still face the front. Into fifth. And ten. Stretch. Double demi. Stretch. Full plie. Demi. All the way down. No leaning forward. Demi. Stretch. Circle and pull right. Here we go. Forward. Hand. Head at the same time. Initiate with the hand. To the side. All the way round. Oh. Amazing right arm balance. You can stay there. And low. Great. Have us on the first side, everyone. Hello, Rowan. Amazing. Minor is enjoying following. Hello, Minor. Great work. Okay, let's quick turn around to do it on the other side. Can everybody hear the music? Okay, is there any kind of sound problems? Esme says yes, Alice says yes. Phew. Okay, right. Um, okay, I'm gonna do it this way so that I'm still facing you guys, oh, but I can use my other leg. Okay, here we go. Let's do clears on the second side. First position again. Growing tall, engage the glute, engage the other side. And then we get down. Stretch, double demi. Stretch, full plie. So we go demi. All the way down. So we're doing plie. And stretch, forward, pull the brow parallel. All the way down as far as we can go. Bend those knees, shake out those hips, release the tension. Growing taller, one vertebra on top of the other. Turning it back. And over to second. Here we go. Demi. Stretch, double demi. Open to second. Great, full clean. Here we go. Demi. All the way down. No kneeling forward. And stretch. Great. Reaching up and over. Over the rainbow. Shake out back. Lovely. See that gap to my ear and my elbow? None of this. Amazing. The first and second can we balance. Great. Round to fourth. Demi. Stretch, double demi. Make sure those hips are still facing forward, full plie. All the way down. This knee isn't going to make us hold up. And reaching up and over the inside. Okay, over rainbow to pole gold. Lovely. Come back, rising up. Make sure those hips and those shoulders are still square and narrow back. Two, fifth. Stretch, double demi, and stretch, full plie, one, and two, coming up, three, four, circle of the right, here we go, coordinate that hand and the up, eyes, yeah, round right to the side, amazing, all the way, around the ice cream cone, rising up to balance, who can say they're the longest? Much better than Mr. Rucker just fell over. Great work, everyone. My knees can't take a full play. Jan, don't worry, just do a demi. This is not, you know, going out. Okay, great. Oh, right, I'm sweating already, guys. This is crazy. Right, let's go to do a tondu from the first. A slow tondu. So, going back to our beautiful first position, can you all see my feet? I'm going to move back a tiny bit. I've got my white socks on so you can see. Okay, so first position, turning up from the top of the legs, growing taller, growing taller, growing taller. This is a great warm-up exercise. So we're going to do, I'm going to be in on curl position so that we've got that arm over to grow taller, makes the wet our posture is as well. We do touch it over, turn it in, turn it out, flex, plie. As we straighten both the legs, the legs can grow taller and longer and longer and longer before we come in and in. Same to the side. So, and in, and out. Legs plie. Grow taller. In, into the back of our arm on a bar. There we go. And in, and out. Flex plie. Grow taller. Longer. In, in. We go side. Wiggle in, wiggle out. Wiggle in. Wiggle out, close, plie, roll through, balance, Woo. balance, 
Yes? Is that okay with everybody? So the same, we go front, side, back, and then when you come to the side, we do a wiggle in. Now, we literally think of coming up, the knee comes in, go to our lovely turn out could you pee position before we stretch the side, doing it again in, stretch the side, first and first on big push over the arches, and what we want to try and do is keep our arches in the same place as we stretch our legs. So we've got the highest every point you've ever seen in the whole entire life. Yes? But right, turn, front of our nose, front and back. I don't want to see any weird things going on. When we go to the side, your toe should be in line with the other toe. So there should be a straight line going across. Now, Myla, who's watching, knows in my great, oh my great bad glasses, we have a beautiful spiny face stick on our heel facing the ceiling. So on. Facing the front. And a second. And facing the floor. There we are. So we want to see that lovely turned out legs. Yes? Any questions? Callie is saying thumbs up, amazing. No, what? great, no questions. Phew. Right, let's go. Don't forget to write down who you think this track is. Oh, maybe can't we do that? Oh, this might be a bit difficult one, actually. Hmm. You don't think you know what it is, and then it kind of like comes in and out. So, okay. First position, growing taller under arm curl. We go down, down, in, down, out. Flex for the A. Can we grow taller, longer legs? Close, first, close, first. And a second, side, from to parallel. Down and up, your forward. Flex, grow taller, grow longer. Close to first. Pass. There you go. Parallel. Turn out. Flex, plie. Keep that core engaged. Closing in and in. Ready to go. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Plie. Roll through, grow tall. Are we keeping that not to take it between our thighs? Are we keeping our bottoms engaged, core engaged, growing taller, taller, taller? Open the arms. Down. Stretch. Amazing. Great. Let's go around to the other side. So we're using our other leg. Are we ready? Seven. Here we go. And Legs plie, grow taller, grow longer, close first, close first. Second, here we go. Second, in, out. Legs plie, grow taller, grow longer, close first, close first. There we go. Um, so you go to hit. My talking is quite loud, so it's about finding the levels. Right. Apart from that, any questions? No. Jan says she needs us every day. Amazing. Tim says, nice video. Keep it up. Thank you, Tim. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Freya says, thumbs up. Beth has just joined. Hello, Beth. Hello, Jade. Hello, Kaylee. My goodness. Could you move back a bit as we can't see your feet on YouTube? Yes, Esme, I can. Of course. This is the kind of comments I need, guys. Like I said, not great with the technology. Whew. Can you see a bit better? There we go. You should be able to see my feet a bit better now. Sorry about that, Esme. Okay, so let's go on to a faster tondu from our fifth position. Okay, so we're still thinking about a wonderful turner. 
In tonjus, your legs should be straight 100% of the time. Yeah? So, I don't see any bent knees. I don't see any tonjus. Bring it back in like this. That is not the step. Yes? You want to grow taller as you close so that your knees can stay straight and you can grow about six inches. That's the idea. Okay? So, in our fifth position, start with our right foot in front. Growing taller. Again, we're up, up to anchor on so we can keep that length and grow taller. We go. And one, slow. Two, quick. Tondu, transfer, tondu, transfer, tondu, close. We then go to the back. Well, the inside leg, slow. Two, quick. Tondu, plie, transfer, plie, tondu, close. To the side, one, slow. Two, quick. Tondu, plie, transfer, plie, tondu, plie, renovate. Hold, 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 and pass. From the back, we go again. Yes? So we do one slow, two quick, two transferring weight, knees over toes, weight in the middle of our plie. None of this. Yeah, even when we're in second, weight right down the middle. Uh huh. Um, Second, same as second, so we're in front, inside leg, okay? Inside leg, your hips, your headlights, as we call them, yes, should not be swinging, no hula hulas. So when we've got our hips to the back, you always want to think of this, your inside hip can be slightly forward so that we're avoiding this. Yes, do we see the difference? Good. Same second, your cherry bones are gonna hold there. Now, um, yeah, fine. Um, great. Arms are optional, yeah? So I ideally want you to think more about your legs and your feet and your coordination and your weight going through your legs and straight legs and all the rest of it, yeah? If you think you've got that and you're happy with your technique and you feel solid in that, add the arm, yeah? Bring it up, dance it a little bit. Uh-huh. Fantastic. So, straight legs, pointed toes, right in front of us, right behind us, hips, not moving, weight between. Amazing. Fantastic. Oh, Miss G's joined as well. Hello, Miss G. Hi, old chapa. Okay. Let me just test this music, see if the music is loud enough. Uh, ah, this is another great track. You should definitely know this one. Miss Haley's Musical Theatre. Uh, senior Musical Theatre will definitely know this, so... Is that a bit louder? Is that a bit better? Volume? Yes. Let's just hope it is. Okay, are we ready? Fifth position, right foot in front, turn down, growing taller, tummy spalled in, bottom squeeze tight. Everything that you've ever learned about that. Coming forward, 
take it back, knee to the knees, coming forwards, hips back, back, one, two, two, great, one, plie, plie, great everyone, front, in front of my nose, thumbs up. Amazing guys, great work. Okay, Freya, love hot emoji, winning at life this Saturday. Okay, right, the next exercise we're going to be facing the bar, so you get to see my lovely glute engagement for the whole exercise. Aren't you lucky? Um, okay, oh, and oh, Scam says yes, that's my mum, hello. <laughs> okay, great, so we're now going to do an exercise specifically for the glutes, yes? Do you remember at the beginning of the class, I was saying about how your glutes really informs your whole tenor from the top of the leg. It supports the whole leg and doesn't only make you stronger, but it also makes the way you dance safer. And safe is fantastic, yes? So, I want everyone to face the bar and show your beautiful demi-plie. And they were thinking, oh, we've already done the eggs. And I'm like, don't worry, bear with me. So demi, then I'm going to come up halfway. This is what I like to call a semi-demi plie. Yes? Feel like a semi-demi quaver, but a plie. So a semi-demi plie. Now, in this position, you should really feel the engagement of these muscles here. Yes? We're turning from the top of the legs. We're turning out here, here, here. It's like, you know when you whip an ice cream and it goes You've got that feeling about whipping the whole way down your leg. Yes? So, we're lovely and turned out on our semi demi plie. We do eight jettings with our right leg, keeping in this position, not moving our pelvis area at all. We do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We do the same on the left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We then do four on the right. Four, three, Two, one, four on the left. Three, two, one, two on the right, two on the left. One, one, stretch the legs. We then do the same thing on our stretch legs. Eight, eight, four, four, two, two, one, one. Growing taller, my do balance at the end. Yes, can everybody count to eight? Give me some hearts if you can count to eight. Um, we'll bear with you on that one, yeah? So, in that demi plie, you should really feel this working the whole time. Now, those of you who are over the age of 18, I want you to imagine that you have a corset, kind of like a crinoline, yeah? So you've got lovely layers of a hoop of skirt. You may have seen a picture on Facebook about two years ago of somebody that had wine glasses going all the way around the hoop of their crinoline, yes? So I want you to imagine you have that on, and if you do any kind of hula hula, moving side to side when you're moving your legs, you're gonna lose the wine, and nobody wants that, do they? No, yeah? So, if you're under the age of 18, it's lemonade. You don't wanna lose any of the lemonade, yeah? So I don't want any of this keeping, if I just do your upper body, I would not know that you are moving. Yeah, does that make sense to everyone? Daisy says yes, Jam says yes, Kelly Leone says, yes, amazing, great. It's all making sense. Okay, again, don't forget to look out for what track this is. This is a Disney classic. If you don't know this song, we need a bit of education here. Oh, lovely hearts coming through, amazing, fantastic. Esme says, yes, I think that's for the counting to eight. Good, okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, look at the time. Miss G, we might have to run over a little bit. Is that okay? Let me know in the comments. So I'm gonna get on to some fun stuff. Oh. Um. Bring Sally. Oh, I just told you. Eight. Seven. With the left. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. For the right. For the left. Two. Two. One. One. Stretch. Right. Growing taller. Always on the supporting side. And with the other leg. Three, two, one, four. Three, four. 
one rise. Look at those the working in those turning out from the top of the legs. Amazing. Oh. Right, we've all got one already. Save the one. Exactly. Save the lemonade, Myla. I knew we were on the same page. Um, great. What was I saying? Right, you've all got one in the music quiz because I told you what that one was. So we couldn't leave anyone with none. Okay, great. Now, because we're short on time, I want to do two more at the bar. We're going to do a grown back one. The lovely street legs. And I did want to do a Ron de Jean. Yeah, we're going to scrap one for today, guys. Because I want to count some fun stuff in the middle. The bar is boring. Okay, so let's do a fondue. So you have a little note. We're going to do a rond de jambe so we can have a little stretch. Yeah? So we can really use all of that. So, rond de jambe, starting for the position, right hand on the bar. We're going to breathe on the introduction. We're going to lift up to a tearing and down. Lifting up to a tearing and down. We bring it out in front of us, knees tucking over toe, toe right in front of us. Bring it all the way around to the back and do it again. And around to the back. We do one, two, three, four. On the fifth one, you bring it up just off the floor, all the way around. Be careful of the furniture in your house. All the way around to the back and close. Rear back step. Bring it up and down, up and down. Right behind us. To the front and right behind us to the front. We've got four, we've got three, we've got two, we've got one. On the fifth, we go just on the floor. Make sure that leg is so long, it's pulling out of the socket and the heel comes on top. Yes, we then do four to put a run. Both hands on the floor or you can't quite reach the floor, down that direction. We then go to plie. Rolling up, little breath, grew taller, backwards pot of roll, and chasse in front of us. Don't worry, I will shower out all of this stretch. We then do a force pot of roll. Quick hip flexor stretch, yes? We're going to do some adult in a bit, so we want to make sure that's as loose as possible. Coming back up, and back to bed. Now, those are my barn students, this is what you're going to do. If you're not quite at this level yet, don't panic. I will show you what you're going to do in a second. So, we do back to the bra. Our hand picks up our back toe and it then comes forward to arabesque. Our toe then, which force we're going to our ponche. Lovely, very nice. Coming back up, balance rise, push back. Now, things to remember. Yeah? Oh, sorry. Things to remember when we do our back to the bra. Obviously, our hand, as I said, picks up the toe. Now, what initiates the punch shake is your back foot. I do want to see anybody going like this. Yes? Because, I mean, it just looks horrific. Um, your back toe lifts and that initiates the punch shake. In your punch shake, you're still looking on your second finger as you're in the arabesque. Your shoulders are still trying to be as square as possible, but you're looking just a little bit further out, yeah? So if you're in a lovely long line, of ponches, you'd be looking at the girl in front of you, their supporting foot. Does that make sense? There's a ballet called Le Bayadere in which all of the court of ballet girls do some beautiful ponches. They do about a million of them. Like it's just endless. Going down a ramp, it's very difficult, yeah? So you're thinking about going down that ramp, looking at the foot of the person in front of you. Yes? Now, for those of you that haven't done ponches before, you're slightly new into ballet, not a problem at all. We still do the same stretch. We still have the back bend. We come down, we still have the beautiful head flexor stretch. We still have the back bend. We come back to so our lovely toe on the floor, arabesque. We just lift it. If you want to rise with you can, and balance. Yes? Any questions? Hello, all of you. Annabelle, hello. Oh, amazing. So, Ronda Jean. Milo will know this from our wonderful ballet classes. The letter on the floor that you need to draw with your toe is what? I will wait to see your comments. Let me know the letter. 
I did the behind desk section my last ballet show. Amazing! So you're gonna completely smash this ponche, yeah? Amazing. Again, be careful of your furniture. We don't want to have any disasters. Yes, so we're drawing a beautiful letter D on the ground. Devon, your heels facing the ceiling. At a second, your heels facing the front. There, yeah, your heels facing the ground. Now, because you're going from side to back, we want to make that um, transition as smooth as possible. Yes? Good. So I want you to imagine your second position. You want to stay your heel facing the front for as long as possible so that your lovely salmon goes to the back. I don't see any of this. Yes? No? No? Thank you. Okay? So your heel's going to face front for as long as possible. Let's keep that beautiful turn now. Yes? My goodness me, I need to stop talking so much. I just get so excited about things. Um, okay, let's do our rond de jean. Now, this track, I really love this music. Um, put you in the right frame of mind. It was a John Lewis Christmas advert track some years ago. Yeah. Ah, oh, all these comments. A letter D. Yeah. Esme, dear Callie, Kitty. Yes, Kitty, don't doubt yourself. The question mark was unnecessary. You've got it. Yeah. Great. So let's do. Oh, no, no, don't do that. What are you doing? Okay, here we go. Okay, the position. Great taller. Again, you don't have to come to rise with these renovated You can just do the tearing. Yeah, but draw that dirt and other tights you will need. Create a bond. Ground to the back. Create a bond. Ground to the back. Four on the jam. One. Two. Three. Four. Fifth one. Just on the floor. Keep that leg over as long as you can. Now always the back. Amazing, let's look at that. It's here, right? Yeah. Feel the music, everyone. Enjoy the music. Use the upper body. Stretch all the way around. Four. Three. Two. And one. Right, we're doing a long pull that leg out. Make it grow tall. Here we go. Four quarter run. Down. Both on the floor. Down the PA down. Stretch. Down. Rolling up. Quarter bed on top of each other. Back bend bring up. Amazing. Now chassis forward. Arabesque. If you're wearing taller, that pelvis still to the tail and take it down. Here we go, forward and down. Stretch up like a butterfly. You want to even stretch it to the side. Bring that pelvis underneath you so you can feel that stretch all the way up the side. Like bed. The bars bring it up. Hold it there, point that foot to the ceiling. Or do you stretch it like this? And coming up, okay, take so both hands, still looking on that second finger, scratch, oh, amazing, great work everyone, quick shake out, <laughs> we're going to the other side, any big disasters, anyone having a complete meltdown, oh, hello Joy, welcome, amazing, no, okay, good, there's a little bit of a delay on the comments bit, so, do type away if you've got any questions or anything like that, and obviously I will answer all of them. Okay, let's go to the other side. God, well this chair moving, I feel like I should work for Pickfords or something. Right, I feel so invigorated. Yes, Jan, that's what we want, yay. Okay, let's do the left side so that we're equal. Hello, I'm a Oh, okay, here we go. Push the wedding sun, but. And. Continue. Still draw that dirty line down our tights. Do the ball. Round the area. 
and again. Four to jump. We go one, two, and three. Last one. Great. Just off the ground. Straight legs. Rotate. Rotate. Over to the back. Close. We go reverse. I might do a couple of tips for ponche, tips for stretching at the end, just because I feel like I want to go, 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 go. So I'll follow that way. Is that okay, Miss G? Please comment or text me if that's okay. Amazing. Don't worry, Esme. I will remember and we'll come back to it, yeah? Great. Okay, we're going to go one more thing at the bar, which is Grand Batman. Now, my grade ones, twos, and threes, actually, we've all been working on Grand Batmons this term, yeah? So we've been doing it very slowly to really make sure we're balancing that hot chocolate cup of tea on our heel. Yes, lovely turned out. But we're gonna do a little bit quicker today. So Marla, if you're still watching, you can join us at this speed. Make sure your legs are straight. Please be careful, don't kick anything. Yes, again, everyone, be careful. Angle in or away from your bar, if that makes more sense. Yes? Oh, we've got comments, we've got comments. Um, I will cut off the... It will cough after an hour, but you can go back on again. Oh, thank you, Freya. See, I do nothing about technology. Okay, great. So we will cut off um, in about 15 minutes. Gives you time to have a quick drink, and then I'll be back. Amazing. Thank you, Freya. Okay, great. So we're going to do oh, one, two, and two, and three. Come down, plie to coup de pied, releve, close. We then go derriere. I don't have much space, so bad with it. We go down, and down, and down, down, down. Plie, coup de pie, back to ankle. Should be touching the bottom of your calf. And relevant, and close. Second, out, in, out, in, out. Plie, relevant, down, cloche. So we're just going to swing. This is not going to be beautiful, but you need to release this hip. So have a slight fondue, bend this leg, just swing it, get that movement going. Four, five, six, quick round to the side. Yes, so we do two, and two, and one. Plie, I want to see that diamond shape with your knees over your toes, a beautiful plie. Your heels then gonna come forward to then reach. Yes, I don't see any of this. Yeah, no, not, okay? One, two, three, four, plie, rid of it. Derriere, turn in towards the bar if you have to. Yeah. And then, and then, and then, to the side, side, and side, and side. Beautiful, and then, relevé. Close behind, then cloche, cloche. Swing the hip. Five, six, quick turn to the other side. Yes? Any questions? Oh, 
no problem. Uh, any questions about the Grombat Mon? Be careful, okay? As you can see, my living room isn't amazing um, in terms of space, uh, but just do what you can. And if your leg needs to be a little bit lower, that's perfect. You need to be really conscious of that beautiful turnout, that wonderful hill coming forward, straight legs. I don't want any bent supporting legs because I will I will find out if you do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Grombat Mon. Last one at the bar. Uh, right, this one, I think you probably will. There's a couple here that I feel like you'll either know or you just won't. So I hope that you will know this one, but it's a little bit more dicey. Um, okay, here we go. Six, seven, here we go. Double, double, stretch, bottom, play, play, play. Good, Daria. about that everybody I was doing too well ah! oh my goodness Ooh. okay that might mean actually that we've now got an hour from now so we should be absolutely fine just keep going hello everyone so sorry so sorry we got lost there oh everyone coming hello Drew hello Kitty Esme is back amazing oh great everyone's coming back Phew. so everyone have a quick drink a quick sip of water oh, great now, if you've got space, do a quick split um, if you are that way inclined. If not, what I want you to do is reach up to the ceiling, reach forward. So that we're in a wonderful flat back right angle and see if you can touch the floor, yes? If you're here, not a problem, bend your knees, yes? Stretch a little bit and really and stretch. Hold both elbows, swing right to left. Yeah, get those hamstrings moving. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Rolling up, grab your right foot with your right hand. Hold on to a bar if you need to. Put your arms on one more. Keep that pelvis tucked underneath you. Yes, we're going to stretch that quad muscle. So we want our toe to ideally touch our bottoms. Yeah, but I don't see any of this. Keep that tummy button pulled in. Keep that wonderful quad. Amazing. Quick calf stretch, other side. Oh, bring it in. Keep this pulled up. And quick calf stretch. And shimmy and shake. Great. Is everybody back with us? Is there going to be any more music quiz? Yes. Keep making sure that you are writing down all of the um, tracks. Yes. Um, and I will let you know at the end where to send them to. I think it might be just to send them to... Maybe you should DM them to this account um, and then I can go through them and then let Miss G know who got more right. There will be, I will count how many, yeah, because we skipped a couple of exercises. So um, I will let you know at the end how many you should have. Um, and then we can go from there. Great. Everyone stretch out. Everyone had a good, quick glass of water. I picked up my water and didn't drink it. Great. We're going to do a quick Adlargy um, port bra in the centre. I'm going to just pull this out a tiny bit just so you can see my feet a bit better. You miss out the, oh, 
You can just get a little floor. It's like trying to find a happy medium. Okay. Oh, he's searching people on YouTube. Amazing. Hello. Great. I'm quite relieved. I was quite worried that the YouTube wasn't going to work, but so far, so good. So, we're going to start in our amazing fifth or third position on Quasi. Now, Quasi, imagine you are stood on a post post postage stamp. Wow. Yeah, so you're on your own position stamp, yeah? So you've got a big square just beneath your feet. I want you to turn to the top left-hand corner of your square, and that's where you're gonna be in your fifth position, yes? It just means you're that little bit shaded, so it's just a little bit of a nicer line. We do sort of more advanced classes you go to quasi, because we can assume that you know how to keep your hips and everything square, so we can make you just a little bit prettier, yeah? Great, so we're going to breathe on the introduction. We're going to stress you forward, lifting up, and bring down and down. So you should have been a lunge knee over toe, hips still super square, arms are in attitude. We then breathe, we lift forward. Now, do you remember how I was saying in our second port of breath in the plie exercise that our hand initiates the port of breath? Yeah, this is why. So we come down, our right hand comes across, you meet on a bottom, comes up, so we're now in a port of breath to the side, that's how we bend. So we come up and around. We're going to breathe back all the way around, coming up. So we're now in our beautiful quasi position with our arms in attitude, left hand up. We've done a wonderful circular board of bra. Yes? Okay. Um, let me just take your question. Yes, DM to this account. Thank you, Miss Jean. Great. Oh, thank you. Great. Um, and then I can be through them. That's for the music quiz. DM your answers to this account. Great. So we've done. Just down, down, forward, side, all the way round, yes? We then lift our leg to bottom, yes? As high as you can with good technique. So to your hip square, your heel face in the ceiling, beautiful straight legs. We lift one, two, we come through our first position, up to arabesque, without hitting your thing, your furniture, and hold. Are we all okay up to there? Love this one's very good. Thank you, Ella, yeah! Um, hello, Chloe, all these people joining. Great, everyone's okay up to that point. All the hearts, amazing. From here, we're then going to promenade round to attitude. So, when you promenade, the only thing, only thing that moves is your supporting heel. Yes? We're going to step back a little bit so you can see. So I'm in my arabesque. Beautiful. Again, your right hand is going to come across and up. It's going to cut a little bit in front of you, so that by the time your back goes to the other side, you're in your wonderful attitude with the other hand on top. Yes? In terms of your legs, your back leg does nothing except this. Yeah? Super easy. Yeah? Your supporting leg does lots of beautiful little movements. Just a little bit better than that. Oh my goodness. Me, that's the much more I've done in my life. Coming around so that your heels should still be forward when you come to the other side and we're lovely and turned down. Yes? I don't see any of this. Everyone watching? Only for this hand, this leg's going to do something funky. Okay, yeah? I don't see any of this. Yeah? So you don't turn your hopscotch or something, yes? Literally just tiny, 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 tiny little. Yeah. Great, so we then arrive in our attitude. We then bring it in to our retiro position. Bring that tailbone under. I don't see anybody left out here. Yes, no bottoms out. Lovely. We're then going to have a beautiful double bay a la second. Okay? Now, 90 degrees is perfect. Yeah? We still want those hips beautifully square. The only thing that's different is we're looking over our second finger. Yes? So I don't want to see any of this. Yeah, we're literally just looking up and over, up and over, over here. We should be on this beautiful part of the cap. Um, angle, we plie, pas de bore, to a lunge. Right, do you want me to go over that from the beginning? Yeah? Okay, I'm gonna go from the beginning because I feel like we've got a little bit lost. Yeah? So we start in quasi, right from in front. We do chassis forward, and two, bring down, Bring down, breathe. Do not forget to breathe. We come down, right arm comes across to initiate the circular port de bras. We lift up, two, come through the first, mind the 
furniture up to arabesque. Good. From here, we then come across to our beautiful little tiny promenade to attitude. We bring it in to rhythm. Draw our pelvis underneath us. Lift to double plié, and pas de bon rain. Yes. Now, this is just a tiny little bit at the end. My advanced students, I want to see single, down, single, down, double onto down, onto and fifth, pay in back, pay in back, fifth, just in forward, ending in a beautiful, then I rest one point. Yes, my not so advanced students, you have some options. You can just do rhythmic balance. Down, right away, balance. Down, single pirouette, close to fifth, chest and forward. Yeah. Or you can do balance, balance, balance. Or you can do balance, single, double. You have options. Yes. The main thing to remember from here, look at my pelvis. Yeah. So naturally, because your leg is going up behind you, you can't keep your pelvis completely in neutral or you would be tucking. Yeah which we don't want, yeah? So it's in neutral, it's going down towards the floor. Because you're then coming up onto your supporting leg, your pelvis needs to do the same, yeah? Because if you look, if I keep my pelvis in neutral here, my pelvis in neutral there, I'm going to take my bottom out and I'm going to fall over. We don't want to fall over, yeah? So to help you put your weight in the correct place so you can stack one on top of each other and balance, you need to bring your tailbone underneath you so that you're in that beautiful neutral position um, in the retiri position. Yes? Does that make sense? Great. Right, we're going to do it slowly with the music just so we all know the counts and so the people that have just joined us can get the, the gist of the exercise. So sorry about that technical issue that happened a little bit ago, but it's fine, we're back. Um, hello, Molly again, hello, Shannon. They're trying to join us, amazing. Great, music quiz is still going. So this track, if you've ever seen Grey's Anatomy, you know this song. That's all I'm gonna say. Makes sense, great, thank you, Miss Emma. Okay, we're gonna just, I'm gonna talk through the counts with the music. Um, and then hopefully. because we don't want to be wonky donkeys. Here we go. Hold, row, 
And then we get injuries and bruises and broken lampshades and stuff. And I can't deal with that. Yeah? Sarah says yes. Jan says jumps, please. Okay, I'm going to do a really on-the-spot turn. Super simple. You don't actually have to turn if you don't want to. You can just balance in that rotator position, finding that security, that balance, that core, that pelvis, everything that we've been talking about all morning. Indy says yes, hello. Freya says yes, she's got space. Okay. So, starting in a beautiful fifth position, we're going to go anatomy, close to fifth, plie relevé, and down. Other side, tonji, close to fifth, plie relevé, and down. We do chassis, forward, and down, plie relevé, so we know where our weight is in the middle of our legs. Down, and a double, or what? On carpet, when you don't know where it's spotting. Down, this one on the chin. Yes? So we're gonna on the spot. If you have not turned before, do not panic. Just run away, hold that balance, find that core. Give the beautiful legs turn out as much as we can. If you are wanting to practice turning, just make sure you are spotting. We are only doing singles today or doubles from fourth if you want, yes? Um, spotting, find a spot on the wall that's about eye level, yeah? Not too high, not too low. You want to stare at that spot, going all the way around, and then put your head back to come back around, yeah? Step, flick, turn, step, flick, turn, step, flick, turn. I think you get the gist, yeah? Because only singles or doubles, you don't really think about any force at all, okay? You, if you run away up straight in a straight line, then all you need is a flick of the head, and you'll magically go around, yeah? You want to make sure you are stacked, one bone on top of the other, yeah? If you look sideways on, there is how arms are on the right, so we can feel whether our weight is back, forward, etc. yeah? From here, from our fifth position, plie, renovate, we're going straight up, yes? If we plie, break back, you're gonna fall forward. If you plie forward, again, you fall forward, yes? Step one in top of the other, and then you will go around. It's magic, it's actual science, yeah? Okay, let's give it a whirl. Again, please be aware of your surroundings. If you feel nervous to turn in that space, 
don't turn, just renovate, yeah? There is nothing wrong with renovating. The more renovations you do, the stronger you are, the more secure you are, the more centered you are. And then when you've got the space, returns will be a million times better. And you'll be like, wow. Okay, let's go. Kitty Spike, hello. I'm on YouTube, it's working all good. Thank you, Freya. Good to know, he's getting a bit worried. Now, I did have, I'm actually going to choose a different track than the one I had listed because um, I really like this one. Um, this is really good to really help feel that snatch, feel that grow, grow taller. So here we go. I'll oh, no, this one. Six, seven, and you. Close. Do have in the studio so it just means that the floor isn't going to give you that rebound and that help when you jump so we need to make sure we really go through the feet yeah we don't see any flat feet we want to see your heels really down when we jump so that then you're still um oh, what's that for? cushioning the landing yeah so we're really helping those joints as much as we can i don't hear any shin problems i don't hear any knee problems so please be careful if it means jumping a little bit lower than you normally would that's fine, safety is key. Again, be careful of your life fittings because I'm a little bit worried that I'm gonna jump into it, but we'll be careful. Yeah, spatial awareness, guys. Great. Okay, so let's do a warm up jump. Quicker, quicker, quick. Be in fifth position on course we do. And a first, 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 fifth, and a first, 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 fifth, and a second, and a second, and a front, and a back, and a step, and a swimming. Yes? So first, first, first. Close with the other foot in front. This is from the left now. First, first, first. Close right foot in front. We then open to second. Knees over the toes. Way in between. Like we did not touch to the bar. And close. And a second. And close. Oh gosh. This is the difficult bit, but it's actually so much easier than you think. So we jump up, land on one foot. We rock over to the other foot. We step, switch. Draw the legs in the air and magic on the other side. Yes? If it does, just keep bouncing. It's a warm up, it's not the end of the world. Yeah? Loving this way, it's got to say, missed the beginning, gonna wait till life's over and get the entire place. Oh, Rashana, thank you! I just need to, oh no, I didn't face the beginning. Oh God. Anyway, we will cross every time we come to it. If not, I'll just teach you again, it's fine. Okay, let's do the warm up jump. Again, guys, do not forget about the music quiz. Woo! 
It's like a pub quiz at ballet. Like, you can't get anything better than that. Okay, here we go. the battery so the beat my not so advanced dancers you can do without the beat and it's just as good for you yeah medicine yes okay so oh, we do make sure you have some space for this one because it does travel a little bit um just jump smaller if you don't have space so on this side of the room a little bit so we do glissade jeté jump Come in, come in. So inside, please start. Jitty, jump, jump. And we're gonna get up to this point. Amazing. We then do parasha, beat change, parasha, beat change. Step assemble, step assemble, and stretch. Yeah? Oh my god, all this talking and moving is like, whoop. So we do please start, switch. Reaching that pressure through the floor, jump up on this leg and land underneath you. Yeah? Jump up, land right underneath us. Two jumps in the air, point your underneath foot, please. Other way, this up, two take, two jumps, two jumps. From here, we do Padasha, which means, please write in the comments what Padasha means. Yes. Meow is the cue I'm giving you. Okay, from here, we've done two. So, uh, we lift this leg, jump over. This one, we just literally jump up, land with the other one in front, so that we can go the other way. Punish her. Again, jump over. Step coupe, assemble. Chasse, assemble. And then we're just gonna run around. So we can go the other way. Yes? Any questions? Thank you, Mr. Rekha. We need to leave our mind. Dance with your hands with Oh, thank you, Myla. Amazing hard work. Well done. Movement of the cat, step of the cat, jump of the cat. Yes, amazing. Great work, everyone. I feel like my meow kind of gave it away a little bit, but you were there anyway. So that's what matters. Okay, let's mark it with the music. Anyone got any questions? Anyone thinking, what on earth is she talking about? No, yep. amazing. Okay. Right, we're just going to do this one. One more big jump after this, and then that'll be the end of class. I'm gonna just really run through the um the next. Okay, this is from a great musical. You should all know it. And Lisa and jump, jump, Lisa, jump, 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 Okay, on this side, beat it if you want. I will beat it so you can see what it looks like. To the left, here we go. Please stop. Beat, 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 stop. Beat, beat, beat. And across, and across. How was that for everyone? Okay, ish. Okay, shake out. We're going to go on to the next one. Just you've got a bit of time to just let me a bit more. Big jumps, ish. Um, be careful of the high switch. So, we're gonna do two C's on, on a bomb. Yes. I also just really like this track, which is why I want to do this exercise. And if anyone knows me, Big Jump's my favorite. So it's a shame we don't have much space to do the But, well, do as much as you can. So, so, we're gonna run away on the introduction. And plie. So we're in a fast safe position to go forward. We do two seats on the bottom. And one, and two, 
One land croupier, run a bit up, come across. Yeah, see so, see so, down, up, across. Glissade assemble, glissade assemble. Yes, okay, up to there. So I'll continue. From assemble. We then do see son, step assemble, see son, step assemble, relevé, down, entre chassis. Okay, entre chassis means there are three of uh, six, six beats in the step. Yes? Now, if this is, these are my feet here, we do relevé, one, two, three, yeah, so we go one, two, three. Now I know that thinks you're thinking that I've only counted to three. How can we entre six? Because you're beating two legs. Yes. So although you're going one, two, three, play on the third one, times it by two, you got two legs, you get six. French maths for you. Yeah. So in reality, we're going to renovate so you've got more impetus to plie. One, two, three. Yes, try again. Up and down. One, two, three. Yeah? If you want to just press on the floor so you need the legs, you go right away. Down. One, two, three. Uh huh. One, two, three. Give it a go. Just try not to trip on your own ankles and fall over. Yeah? Great. Let's give it a go with the music. This one is a very, it's a great track. Um. I just really like this guy. I think he's great. Your mums and dads might think he's great too. But we'll see. Okay. Da, 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 da. Great, let's go. Okay. Last one, guys, let's push. See sun, see sun, see sun. Hey, where are they? Down, please sun, assemble. I'm gonna step back, please sun, assemble. See sun, step back, assemble. So therefore, we worked hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hope it invigorated your Saturday. So very difficult to know what day it is. Amazing, guys. Thank you so much. No problem for it, Miss G. Okay, those of you that are still with us, we're super warm. Let's use this wisely and do a quick stretch. So, and as Nate, I will show you how to work on your ponche as well right now. So let's do right leg split to begin with. Oh, gosh. Really make sure, let me have this way. Need a bigger space. I do too, Callie, don't worry. Um, so, making sure in our split, we're going to be as square as we can, bringing this hip forward. Because if you're here, you're not gonna get the full stretch. Bring this hip forward, and then you do get a slight stretch on your um, hip flexor as well. I have quite tight hip flexors, so the more I stretch them out, just the better I feel, um, generally. So once we're squaring that split, let's keep our head on our ankle, yeah? I know some teachers say put your head on your knee, but if you put your head on your ankle, but therefore we're gonna stretch forward more, and therefore, okay, put my head on my knee, see the curve of the spine, yeah? Put my head on my ankle, I'm stretching forwards, yeah? I'm therefore stretching longer and doing a better stretch for my hamstrings. Great, so we're here. We're gonna stretch it over. Feel free to rock into your hip flexor as well. Um, if that feels better, I quite like that feeling, but it obviously depends on your body. If you're not quite down into the flat split yet, if you are, for example, here, 
yeah? Still think about seeing as square as possible and just hold it there, yeah? We've all been there. Nobody's naturally born able to do the splits. Well, maybe that I know anyway. So the more you stretch, the more um, regularly you stretch, the more your body will get used to it. And gravity is your best friend, yeah? Slowly, 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 you will eventually, and then one day it'll just drop and then you'll be there. I remember it vividly, the day I dropped into the split, I was probably about 10, and um, I got very excited. I went screaming around my house and was like, Mom, look, I can do the splits. It was a magical day, yeah? Oh, I've been resting them. My muscles really tight. Should I be resting them? I'm stretching them every day. Okay, if you've been stretching quite a lot recently, don't push them too much, yes? If your muscles are very tight, the best thing you can do is roll them out, yeah? So just get rid of all of that tension. You will know when your muscles don't want to be stretched. I know that sounds like a kind of stupid answer, but for example, for me, if my hamstrings are super tight and tired, I know not to stretch them because the pain is different. It's a different kind of pain to the what you would do for a normal stretch. To roll out your muscles, a couple of things I always use. This is your best friend. This is literally like a laundry ball you can get from like Savers, b and any of those places. And literally get the ball and just roll along your muscles, yeah? Just so then that spikiness can just get into those muscles. You can also move on the ball, which hurts a lot. Especially if your glutes, yeah, your glutes. You also can get, um, I call them bolsters, but you can also call them rollers. Um, I actually have one, but I'll go and get it in a minute. Um, which the people sell them everywhere. I got from TK Maxx, I think, for about ten pounds. Uh, you can get them from like Tiger as well. They're kind of like this long. You want the ones that are this long, ideally. Um, any of the shorter ones, they're just not really worth it. The longer ones are great because then that's out average the length of your your back, like your spine, so you can lie on it and don't feel like you're gonna rock off it. Um, but yes, rolling out your muscles is super important. After a long class, long sweaty class, roll them out, um, even if they don't feel like they do need it, um, because it will really help. It's great for circulation, great to um, build. Oh, let me, let me just get back. My mum is laughing at me apparently because of, of my story about how I looked into this. I also used to make my mum stretch me and stand on me, so, you know, this. I was a strange child. Um, great, so roll out as much as possible. A great thing as well with the rollers, um, the balls as well, um, use the wall. So I know like if I have a tight spine or a tight like upper back, it's great to get the ball on the wall and just move around on it. Yeah, it just really gets into all of those sort of like nerves and stuff like that. Oh, make sure you split stretch on the left split as well. Any deep calf stretches? Yes, I have very tight calves. I don't know if you noticed. Um, I have tight calves and I have tight Achilles as well. So I don't have a huge demi plie. Great thing I always used to do, um, oh, they don't really have them anymore, but um, phone books are great. If you can kind of create an incline, so I'll show you with these pillows, it won't be as good, but um, if you can create an incline, so it's like a ramp going down. So build, oh, you can't really see that. <laughs> yeah, so I've got something here. I'm gonna put, this would ideally be something slightly more um, structured than a pillow, yeah? But you've got that incline and literally just stand on it like this. So you should be with your toes up. So you've got that incline like this and that will stretch out your calf muscles as well. Bending your knees in that position, just standing there. I used to stand there for ages just to stretch out the calves. That's great for the lower calf as well um, as the upper calf. Roll out your calves. Oh my goodness me. It will hurt a lot. But use this ball. Also, golf balls are great as well. You can get them from like Sports Direct. I think I've got a pack of five for like three pounds. I just made that up, I don't know how much they were, but I got like quite a few, just the cheap ones. You don't need like a weighted one. It's just the shape, which is great. Um, and again, rolling your calves and also like, so you can move up and down on your calves as well, which is great because you've got that extra, <laughs> um, extra weight um, to deepen that stretch. Um, bottom calf stairs is good. Yes, thank you, Kelly, that's great. Bottom of the stairs, if you can't create that incline, I don't have any stairs in my flat, so it's not great. Um, but again, stand on the bottom of the stair. 
and then just hanging back on it. So it would kind of, let me start up here. It would kind of look like this. You're hanging back, so then you obviously you've got that incline that's a deep calf stretch. Yes, amazing. Um, when is the next class from Jan? Um, at the moment, I don't have a planned class, but because Miss G is obviously doing a specific lockdown timetable at the moment, um, fingers crossed I can come back and do another class, um, or maybe kind of a stretching class, Q&A, that kind of thing, um, which would be great. Esme, are you still here? And I can show you just how to do um, a great ponche um, stretch. Mm. Okay, so ponche is literally just a vertical split. Right? So a great way to do that, I seem like I can move you, um, is to do splits up a wall. I'm gonna put you there. Oh, I don't know if you can see. Uh, might be able to see there? Ish. So I'm gonna do it against this door. Put your hands on the ground, put your foot as close to the wall as you can, lift your leg up and stretch. Yeah? Really, so you get your up, bo your bottom as close to the wall as you can, yeah, and hold it there, which is great. Another one you can do is go into your poncho at the bar, put both hands on the ground, yeah. So if you're literally like this, and walk your hands forward so you get your leg a little bit higher. Walk your hands back, and then if you're feeling really strong, take both hands off the ground and then come up to arabesque. You're then working your upper back as well to get that upper back strength to then come up to the arabesque position. Um, that obviously wasn't a great display because you can't really see. Oh, Esme's still there, amazing. Did you get all that, Esme? So splits up the wall, a great. Um, go down into your ponche, put both hands on the floor, flex the top foot so you can feel that leg stretching as if you're trying to do a footprint in the ceiling, yeah? The longer your leg is, the more stretched it is, the actual more vertical. Yeah, so if your leg's a little bit straight, bent, or not a million percent straight, then it's gonna kind of fall. If you stretch even higher, it's gonna go even higher, yeah? Um, both hands on the floor, please stretch, please stretch down there, so you kind of do it like this, then come back, so you've got the beautiful pointed foot, then come up to your rest position, yeah? Um, that's gonna to get to more the vertical split of it. Practice, again, because um, it obviously is quite a strange position to be in. So the more you do it, the easier it will be. Okay, that's helpful. Thank you. Amazing, Esme. Any more questions? Any more sort of tips people are interested in? Um, yes, let me know. Don't forget to send your music quiz um, answers through to this account. And so you can go through and then see how many you got correct. Let me just check. Actually, I can probably tell you how many exercises we did. And then you should have that number of... There should be 11. Yeah. So you should have 11, 11 uh, track listings. Oh, no problem, Callie. Thank you for joining us. Um, yes, you should have 11 tracks. Uh, send them through. Guess if you can't remember. And fingers crossed. Um, thank you, Tia. Thank you for joining me. And yes, have a lovely weekend. Hopefully, I will see you soon again on Miss G's page. And yes, thank you so much for joining me. Bye. Oh, no, I can't end it. Sorry, I forgot I'm still on YouTube. Still on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. This is my sister. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for a great class. Bye. Oh.